Only 4,285 pounds. This is a one owner, locally sold, service traded. Jayfeather X23B here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Original owner was a Halid RV customer. After a couple years of dutiful service, decided it was time to update and upgrade to a fully enclosed hard side bunkhouse and swapped it up. Staying here at Halid RV and staying within the Jayco family, moving up to a White Hawk. And I think that this is a, a, a great example of the way that we take care of our customers. And also, it's a good example of brand loyalty, which is something you don't always see in this business. There's certain brands like Jayco, a lot of times Freedom Express, or like Montana's. Once you've had one, it just seems like it's hard to always appreciate anything else. Inside here, this is simple, but clean and effective. And what's really impressive is how big and massive the living area of this one feels without requiring a big, heavy, massive, expensive super slide. In fact, all you have here is this little sofa slide, but that small slide out creates this big living space. It also helps that the hybrid bed ends give you a greater sense of depth, space, and, and all those, you know, fun words. Um, very, uh, very rustic decor going on in here, very autumn in, in uh, autumnal in nature, I guess you could say. But uh, overall, uh, back to the task at hand, clean, well kept, uh, simple, effective. All the original stuff appears to be here. Completely carpetless layout, and there are no heat vents in the floor, Jay Feathers, which is a pretty nice thing. Now, uh, up front here, you've got that big full U dinette, and that's a fully free floating table. So if you want to kick that table outside uh, for picnic time, you can. You can fold that table down to use this uh, front U dinette as a mega eight foot wide bed because that is a wall to wall eight foot mega dinette. You want to truly sit four plus people at a dinette, you can do it. Plus, you could always put chairs on the uh, the front side of the table where I'm standing currently to maximize that seating capacity. Now, if you know, there's a drawer below that rear bench too. Now, there's a couple things you can kind of do with that. What some people will do is they'll actually remove that drawer and they use the drawer face just to kind of block it off so that you actually create a full front pass-through compartment. Previous owner here had not done that. This is still in very stock shape and condition. Great cross breeze windows throughout. The bed ends look great. I don't see any signs where there's like, it was never put away wet. It's not torn, it's not scarred, it's not stained or moldy or anything like that. You're not inheriting someone else's problems. In point of fact, it's so well kept, so late model in nature, this may still qualify for same as new RV finance, which is pretty cool. Now over here, you can see all the original entertainment stuff still present and accounted for, and that TV is on a swing arm, so it can swing out to face you, which is pretty handy. Right above that, uh, we've got the uh, DVD system here. Now this is not Bluetooth. This was the the year before they went Bluetooth, so just kind of keep little details like that in mind. Um, easy controls here for you know our awning, our slides to get to those things, but you don't need the slide out to make this model work. The slide out just makes this one look and feel better. That's actually what's cool about this one. When the slide closes, the sofa will come to about here. I mean, you can still get through this thing like nobody's business. But, really, if there's one thing the X23 Jayfeather does better than any other hybrid this size or, or category or anything like that, is it just has a, just a crazy amount of storage. Starting up here, quick look at the kitchen overhead cabinets. What's nice, too, is this has the same uh, like general cabinet construction as something all the way up as far as like a North Point luxury fifth wheel from the Jayco family. Pocket screw cabinets, hardwood uh, cabinet door frames. They do use a simple flat panel insert on those cabinet doors on these uh, just to kind of help with uh, weight restrictions. And frankly, those uh, a flat panel cabinet door will keep your cereal or whatever in that cabinet just as well as a fancy raised panel door. Um, now, decent countertop space in here, which is something hybrids are usually not known for. All the original owner's manuals and everything, you can see that we give our clients here at Halo RV this handy little bag to keep everything contained, and it did its job. Everything's still here. Great storage below the countertop. This is really where this one starts to bust loose with just immense storage. And right above those drawers, note that you do have an easy reach set of outlets there as well, which is something a lot of campers don't do, especially in a smaller, lighter, basic series. But this space over here, oh m gosh, this is impressive. On the left, we've got a six and a half foot tall floor to ceiling pantry. And then to the right of that, you've got uh, what could be either like the world's biggest dresser space ever seen in a hybrid camper or 
you could remove these shelves and you can see you've got double hanging rods up there. So if you do need to convert this into something of a hanging cabinet storage space, you have more room to do that here than just about any other uh, you know hybrid camper you're ever going to find. Bathroom is simple, very simple, but effective. You know, that's what this whole camper is about. This camper is a simple but effective camper. And that's, you know, the, I do like that the previous owner, though, did go through and replace the original shower head, something with a little bit uh, more pressure to it effectively. Um, backing up here, there is a neat little bonus drawer below that uh, refrigerator. I'm just trying not to trip over cabinet doors. I clumsily left open, which is a good way to kill myself, obviously. Um, but uh, over here, You've got this small little sofa slide out. Not the biggest slide in the world, but again, it's all the space it gives us. Now, someone's going to ask, could I replace that with something else? And the answer is no, you cannot. Uh, this sofa is located directly above the wheel wells. And that's actually, if you look down, that's what that little carpeted area is right under it. So the sofa seat is actually right on top of the wheel wells. So if you tried to like replace this and put a theater seat or something in it, your feet would be hanging 18 inches off the ground. But you also do have a big cross breeze window right here and that does have night shades for privacy. There is also additional overhead storage space above the uh, uh, sofa over here. But note, they're using the nicer metallic struts on these so that you don't have to juggle them open with your head. And I gotta tell you, I really appreciate the previous owners of this RV, not just for doing business here, but for just giving us that opportunity. A lot of people watch these videos and they say, well, we just assumed that we couldn't buy from you for whatever reason. All you have to do is pick up the phone. Don't ever assume anything. The only thing you're standing to lose by not calling guys is thousands of dollars. <laughs> you know, this guy actually came up and said, you know, I, I appreciate the work that you guys do, and I wanted to make sure that you had a fair chance at earning my business. Uh, that's all I ask out of anybody. You know, fair is fair, I think. So, taking a look up front here, if we, if we peek down in this, we can see a nice little side saddle storage pocket. But that's mostly all you see. Because remember, you do have that full drawer in this area. If you sacrifice that drawer, if you choose to remove it, you can convert this into a huge pass-through storage compartment in the front of this RV. And that is something that hybrid campers do not traditionally have. Once again, our bed ends are in excellent condition. You are not inheriting someone else's misuse, abuse, lack of maintenance and upkeep. This has been kept clean, maintained, uh, even upgraded to a power tongue jack on the front, which was uh, not a factory included option on this one when it was built and purchased. So this is, this is what you want to find in a used RV. Now, as we come around the corner, you're going to see the water heater door hanging open. Don't have a heart attack. We're draining that out because, unfortunately, it is getting to be glove season. And the last thing we want is to have a frozen, broken water heater because the last thing you want is a frozen, broken water heater. <laughs> Notice how those two things are related. Almost the same, in fact. Over here, tires are in great shape. Aluminum wheels looking good. I have not detected any sort of irregular wear patterns, no weather checking or anything like that. So, uh, you know, not left in the sun, neglected or anything of uh, that nature here. Full outside utility shower next to your hookups and dump station is actually a nice little utility thing as well. Now our bed ends. These are rated for a very impressive 1,050 pounds and they are held in place internally with uh, basically aircraft grade cables. And uh, it's it's just a really cool thing that the, the bed ends are also reverse cambered. So they're actually bubbled upward a little bit in the middle. And that kind of sounds like, why would they do that? Why isn't it flat? Well, when you lay on it, you'll tend to spring the door. So they reverse camber it to handle the load of the people. Although again, obviously it's rated for more weight than a reasonable family could ever apply to it. And that's by design. It's overbuilt so that the kids can bounce and jounce all over this thing. Never hurt it, never cause problems. We do have a uh, power awning here for ease and simplicity. Now, right behind those tires down there, there is a gas grill quick connect. So if you do want to put a grill on this thing, very simple and easy to do. You can see that it's uh, been cleaned, well-maintained. Roof, similar situation. This does have a fully walkable roof as well. Jago's Magnum Trust roof system. This little camper has a roof rate of like 4,200 pounds. It's ridiculously overbuilt to, uh, you could say, but there's also a lot of people who are going to say, I don't know, I don't think you can have too much construction. So, you know, that's why we carry different products here at Halet RV to help you kind of zero in on the one you're looking for. Um, 
overall, I, I think you're going to be happy with this thing. Give us a ring here at Halet RV. One owner, well kept, late model. Let's get you camping. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.